Hey, well, today's daily sprint, we're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And today, I want to talk to you about a belief. Uh, we're reading this book by Adam Grant, uh, and it's really, really got me thinking. And one of the concepts is we always say, like, people always say greedy people are bad. Babe, your hair is in the frame there. There you go. Yeah, no, do that. All right, but anyway, people are always like, greed is bad, and we all jump around, yeah, greedy people suck, and whatnot. Well, let's reframe this. Let's unwrap this a little bit. Is greed, or can greed be good? So let's look about if you're greedy for love. Say that you just want to have so much love in your heart from your kids, from your wife. You just want to receive so much love. Well, we know in order to receive love from our wives, our kids, our friends, our family, we need to give it. Nobody's going to just give, give, give. They're only going to pass you the ball so much. If you're not passing it back, you're going to be labeled a ball hog and be sitting on the bench. So in order, if you're greedy for, for love, you got to share a lot of love, okay? And you might have to share a lot of love before you even get any love back, okay? So in that case, I'd be like, hey, I'm, I am greedy for love. I'll tell you that right now. I want your love. It'd be great to have it. Show me some love. Show me some love in the comments with like a heart or something. That would be awesome. Uh, all right, number, number two, are you greedy for time freedom, are you sick of, t of, of looking at so many pictures of your kids instead of spending time with them? And you're just, you're, you're greedy. You're like, no, I want more time for me with my kids. Okay, well, that would be another example of greed being good. Well, what would you have to do to travel more and spend more time? What would you have to do if you were greedy for more time? You'd probably have to work a little bit harder, do more, uh, maybe create systems and processes, maybe prioritize it. You might have to take some things that you're not greedy for out, okay? Like nights out with the guys or whatever to spend more time with your kids. But let's talk about the main thing that a lot of people associate with greed, cash, cash money. I left a business development program once because it was a group of men, we, we would meet every Wednesday, and it was pretty good. I took a lot away from it. But I, met, I left because the, these businessmen, they would say things like, not like, they would say things like this. They would say, you know what? I'm not greedy, I just wanna make enough to get by, you know, pay the bills. And I remember, oh, it just struck me, like a dagger in my heart. I'm like, make enough to get by. What, what about the, 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 the kids that, uh, that are being sex trafficked? They would prefer, it would be nice maybe if you made a little bit more, you're a little bit more greedy so that maybe you can donate to that cause if that's, if that's what's on your heart. Or maybe it's the environment, you know, maybe that uh, the, the, the people that keep our environment strong and safe, maybe they would prefer that you made a little bit more than just to get by so maybe you can help in that cause. So basically, are you saying there's no other causes in your heart that, to, that statement to me is greedy because it's saying, hey, I only want to take care of me and mine. That's it. Nobody else. I just want to make enough to get by for me and mine, but no one else. And I'm going to tell you that the, the byproduct of that is probably going to be a pretty depressed life because we have this mechanism in our brain that we get massive amounts of dopamine and joy when we give. And the more we give and the more we can create experiences for others, the more it, it, it gets our brains just lit up, okay? And they've proven that scientifically, okay? So by definition, if you are greedy just to keep, just to consume, you're not gonna be a happy person. Now, if you're greedy, you wanna get as much cash as possible so that you can then give more, build more, um, philanthropize more, then you're gonna get paid tenfold in return. So what are some areas in life where you need to be a little bit more greedy with so that then you can share it and really live that life of joy? I'd really like to challenge your beliefs on that. So thanks for tuning in today. I'd love to hear uh, some, uh, some of your comments or some of your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you at the next Daily Sprint.